okay, I don't know when it's coming out, but Naughty Dog has officially announced that the studio would focus on The Last of Us 2 after the release of Uncharted 4 A Thieves' End, which is expected to be out in fall 2015. So guys, get excited for that because we get to revisit the world of The Last of Us. I know a lot of people don't even want a sequel uh, as they feel that the first game was fulfilling enough. And to be honest, I'm right there with you guys. At, at first, I didn't I didn't want a sequel. I, I felt like Joel and Ellie and The Last of Us might be ruined if there was a sequel. But then I realized it, it's Naughty Dog. You know, it's, it's freaking Naughty Dog, guys. Like, they put so much work into crafting their games from the story to the design to the gameplay. So rest assured that it is all in good hands and they will not let us down you have to have faith in naughty dog but yeah only a couple months ago they were telling us that they were unsure about creating a sequel and then only a couple weeks later they tell us that the last of us 2 had about a 50 50 chance of seeing a release date and that kind of blew me away because if you see past interviews with creative director neil Druckmann, you can really see from you know the way he talks you know his expressions and stuff he didn't really want to create a sequel because again he felt that they crafted it like a perfection and they, they didn't want to tamper with it or anything like that and i 100 percent agree with them you know i mean it's risky uh because you've created something that fans have really grown to love so much so it's it's risky to go back to that and 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 you know create a, a different interpretation of it you know either through different characters or a different location stuff like that i mean every single small thing that you tweak can really impact the entire game so i can understand why you know neil Druckmann and the rest of naughty dog were hesitant to even go back to the last of us so now that they are you know going to create the last of us 2 uh, they, they said that right now they're 110 percent in uncharted 4 territory they have all their limited resources focused on uncharted and that's great you know that's another thing i love about naughty dog is they focus on one project at a time so the last of us 2 for now is put on ice we don't know exactly when it's coming out uh, my prediction is around 2017 and that's still kind of soon with uncharted 4 coming out in fall that's only about a year uh, you know depending on when in 2017 that's about a year to two years to give them to create the last of us 2 but again you know i, I think they can do it uh, the earliest i would i would predict is 2017 possibly late 2017 to you know late 2018 i know that's rough estimate you know but again that's just my guess so of course there's tons of stuff to talk about you know will the last of us 2 feature joel and ellie all neil Druckmann had to say about that was the absence of the two main characters may be a possibility if the voice actors uh, Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson would be absent for the follow-up project uh, and that's just one reason for the absence of Joel and Ellie obviously you can't have any other actors portraying these two characters because it just wouldn't be Joel and Ellie and, and to be honest again I don't want another Joel and Ellie game. I, I, I am completely happy with what we got in The Last of Us. It's not because I don't like Joel and Ellie uh, that I don't want to see them again. It's just that I feel that they were giving enough justice as it was. I don't want to see what happens after the ending of The Last of Us. I want all of that to be left up to my imagination. And again, I don't want to see that because I think that would really, really damage The Last of Us for a lot of us. I'm thinking focus on completely different characters, different story, different location. Because again, there's so many stories that you can tell in this new world that they've created. And all can be just as memorable as the first game. And I know that may be hard to believe because again, that first game was just so incredible in every single way that it's hard to believe that something could possibly follow up in that game's footsteps and, and live up to even surpass The Last of Us. But again, it's Naughty Dog. You know, there's not a doubt in my mind that they can do it. So yeah, I want to see completely new characters. Possibly Possibly even having the main character being a female, you know, I mean, again, that's not even a big deal, really, but Naughty Dog hasn't created a game with a female lead yet, so I would I would love to see their take on that and how they would handle that. Of course, we got to play uh, Ellie a little bit in The Last of Us, but for the main part, the, you know, the main protagonist that we got to play as was Joel, and again, that was perfected, so, you know, again, I would love to see, uh, you know, their take on a female protagonist. As far as location goes, you know, that's a whole nother story, uh, you know, a whole nother video where I can sit here and talk about that forever, and I'm sure you all could, too. I will say that personally I do not want to play in the United States in The Last of Us 2. Uh, you know, I would really love to see maybe a European setting, possibly even an Asian setting. I mean, just because just think, Asia is a lot more populated than the United States, which equals a lot more of these infected. You know, in The Last of Us 1, the most we got to see on screen was that, uh, spoilers by the way, when we're traveling with uh, Sam and Henry and we had to protect them with that sniper from, you know, soldiers and then all those uh, infected start coming. So yeah, that's the most infected we got to see on screen. You know, I would love to see thousands of these things just you know terrorizing the place and stuff you know not because i want a similar zombie style game 
I would just love to see, you know, more infected because a lot of people didn't think that The Last of Us focused enough on the infected. You know, of course, there's this big infected world that they all live in, but the main threat was humans, you know, trying to survive and they're all afraid of each other, you know, killing each other for resources and all this types of stuff. And I, I love the focus on the humans. I would just like to see The Last of Us 2 focus a little more on the infected and the threat that they pose. And again, I would think a setting in Asia would be awesome because, you know, so many more people, so many more infected. I think that would be really awesome plus you know asia has a lot of awesome locations to visit you know like shanghai would be sick uh, possibly even like tokyo japan would be awesome tons of really cool locations that they could have for the setting of this game of course europe would be awesome too you know maybe london or paris and you know these are just popular cities that i'm mentioning but yeah there's just so many awesome locations that they could do i just don't want to go back to the united states i would like to see how other countries handled this pandemic you know with quarantine zones and all that type of stuff so yeah that's all i got for you guys i really want to know what you guys think about all this hope you're all excited for the last of us too let me know where, where you want to see it take place let me know if you want to see joel and ellie back or new characters completely i'd love to hear it so thanks for hanging out with me today guys and i'll see you all in the next video take care